Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 5th of 2020, well, it is titled Picture Rocks Sun Dagger. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video clip that we will run, and it shows what is known as the sun dagger. Now, in the initial image, you can kind of see the sun dagger, the uh, pointed section of sunlight towards just to the right of the center of the image that points to various areas on a spiral shape uh, that is going around there. And that may have been used as an ancient calendar. So where the dagger points can tell you something about the time of year. Now, of course, long ago, this was important. I mean, astronomy was developed in many ways as part of trying to understand the calendar and time here on Earth so that we knew when various seasons were going to begin. Now, when we run the video here, so once we play the video, we'll take a look and see what this shows. And as the video starts, what we see is the sun dagger there towards the right, telling us that this took place in Tucson, Arizona. And the first is running at 60 speed, and you can watch the sun slowly moving as it brings areas out of shadow towards that spiral pattern marked into the rock. And as it gets closer, you see that dagger of light begin to appear and point towards different parts of that uh, circle. And then as it continues, that dagger begins to disappear as the entire area is into sunlight. Now, if we look at it again, you can again see that wedge shape of sunbeam labeled here and the uh, spiral area that we see as well. Now, the video will show again, and this time it'll run at 30 times. And you can again watch as that begins to move. So you can see the sunlight creeping from left to right, and then the dagger appears. And then when that dagger appears, where that point does is for different times of year. And exactly where it will be, it depends on the positioning of the sun at that time. So a sun is higher in the sky during the summer and lower in the sky during the winter. So it will be at different positions, which means that that dagger will end up being in different positions as the sun moves. So from day to day, we'll see it at different positioning. Now, how did the sun dagger form? Well, we don't honestly know. It may have been that the dagger itself is just a natural part of the patterns in the rocks that we see and that someone happened to notice it. Now, obviously, someone else then did put the uh, section in that shows that spiral that may have noted where the sun was at certain times of year so that it could be used as a future calendar. And we see things like this all over the world that ancients had used to be able to tell this to be able to tell the seasons and learn about time. So things like the uh, even as big as Stonehenge on a much grander scale did very similar things with being able to tell where the sun was, helping to tell us what time of year it was. So that was our picture of the day for August the 5th of 2020. It was titled Picture Rocks Sun Dagger. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be 20 and 21. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.